Welcome to probability video 5.2, combinations and basketball starters. Here's example two. There are eight people on the basketball roster. In how many ways can the coach select the starting five players? Note, order is not important. Either you're a starter or you're a bench player. Okay, once again, it's not ha ha, he picked me first. Starter or bench player. All right, we're gonna do it in three different ways. Uh, the first way is more intuitive, it's with slots, and uh, we're going to start it out with ordering and then divide by that R factorial to cancel the ordering. Okay, so uh, I'm picking five players, so I'll have five slots. One, two, three, four, five. And if I were to do ordering, okay, which I'm not, but if I were to do ordering, I could put eight players and then seven, and then six, and then five, and then four. So that would be an ordering um, in a row of five. I don't want that, so what I do is I divide by five factorial, dividing by that R factorial, and that uh, cancels the um, ordering. All right, let's try to do this by hand. So five factorial, I could really write as five times four times three times two times one. Okay, then I could cancel 5 with 5, 4 with 4, 3, 2, 1 with 6, and 8 times 7 is just 56. So that would be the number of ways of the coach selecting the five starters with order not um, uh, being counted. All right, method two would be with the formula. Okay, so the formula I could write as n factorial over n minus r factorial with an extra factorial down there. Remember n is the total objects, r is the grouping size. So that would be total 8 factorial over, that would be 8 minus 5 factorial, and that would be 5 factorial. So that would be 8 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 factorial. Okay, so let's do this by hand. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. I'll put the 5 factorial first. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the 3 factorial I'll put over here, 3 times 2 times 1. So I can cancel all of those with all of those, that with that, and that's no different than what we did before. I'm left with 8 times 7 equals 56. Okay, and the third method is just pressing buttons on your calculator. So for, uh, once again, with a TI-30, um, in the second row from the top, in the second column over, is the probability key. Um, and then you're going to get options for uh, permutations, combinations, and factorials. So just to show you the keystrokes, um, uh, we're going to do out of eight, choose five. So the keystrokes would be press the eight key in their calculator, then press the probability key on your calculator, then press number two, which is, sorry about that, that should be NCR, NCR on your calculator. Then press 5, and then press Enter. So once again, 8, the probability, NCR, 5, Enter, and you should get 56 again. So there you have it. Um, how to use combina combinations to find out the number of different ways the coach can select the starting 5.